Okay, this video is going to show you how to use Service Autopilot. The first thing you have to do is put in your username and password, which has been given to you. Then you're going to go over and click Work Orders. When that opens, the next step is you have to start your day down here. If you don't start your day, nothing works. So start the day. And then with the work orders, you would normally go to the first one. I actually had done the first two in testing it. So click to the right over there. And now you get in. When you arrive at the job, click Arrive. You're going to go through the job. Um, see, it marks that you've started. Now, towards the bottom, there's a place for tech notes. If there's anything we need to know, write it in there. And if a customer ever requests that you add something, there's also a place for that. When you're done, click Leave. And now we know you finished the job. And if you're only taking a break, hit No, just pause time. If you're done, hit Done. Um, then you, you go back, and now you would normally go to the next job. Uh, when you're done for the day, hit back again, and you're going to end your day. So click down here, End the Day. You're done. If you just take a break, you use the, the boxes for taking a break. Are you really sure you want to end your day? Yes. You're done for the day. See you tomorrow. Eventually, we're going to add this where you enter the mileage. Um, we don't have that set up yet, but we will soon, so just be aware of that screen.